everybody, it's Kelly, and I'm back with another layout. Um, a, a a summer day, but it really wasn't summer, so we'll talk about that. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to start out with this paper with the clouds on it. I really love cloud paper, but I rarely use it. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. My photo is definitely portrait, so I could do it so that it's on the side, but I'm also thinking about using like a big chunky mat um, to make that more square. So we're gonna kind of see how that works out. So that cloud paper came from Echo Park. Um, Hello Summer, it's the Wide Stripes paper. The striped paper is from um, Echo Park, Hello Summer. It's the Butterfly, Butterfly Sky paper. And I think it's sky. Yeah, it is sky. And then the green paper that I'm going to use for the mat, I just put the um, photo down there, is um, Echo Park Hello Summer You've Been Flagged because there are like um, banners on the back. So, ooh, and I forgot about this. <laughs> I jumped the gun. I decided as I looked at this that I liked the big chunky one better just with the way this looked, that it really popped it off the foreground or off the background much more. So that's what's going to happen here. So, and I like the way that looks, but I am, I pointed up there because I think I need some sort of transition between the stripe paper and the cloud paper. I'm just not ready to do it yet because I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for some sort of journaling element there. And I have, um, the Hello Summer Echo Park title pages is what um, that is called. So I'm trying to use up um, some old stickers, some old um, collections, that kind of thing I went into while I was at this retreat. I just did a bunch of summer layouts and went into my um, supplies here to figure that out. So I settled on that cloud and sun paper. I just thought that was um, kind of fun. So that photo is a piece of me on October 4th of um, 2023 and it hit over 80 degrees here. So I had a gap in my schedule which doesn't happen very often and I had some work to do to get schedules done for the next year and I decided to take my um, lunch and my that schedule book that I needed to work on to a park that's very close to where I work and I sat out there for a couple of hours until I got too hot because I just wasn't I wasn't dressed for 80 degree weather even though I decided I went out because I figured that would be the last of it all right so I am playing with these stickers here and I found this window sticker and I'm thinking about using that I think you probably have actually already seen the layout where I do end up using that uh, window sticker um, sometimes when I do these, I mix them around a little bit so that you don't see the same thing over and over again. Like, especially when I keep working with like summer layouts and that kind of stuff. So I think you saw that a few weeks ago, but anyway, the stickos, stickers here are from Echo Park Hello Summer, the element stickers. And I like that little, um, flower just because I'm outside it, and it definitely has a summer feel, even though this wasn't a summer day, that little flag there is that that says happy because I was very happy and content and now I'm kind of figuring out like what else should I do here I don't remember what I'm looking for because <laughs> so kind of trying to figure out how I could use this and it's just not working well so I'm putting that back on the sheet and I found these two kind of like floral pieces and I really like how those look. So this, there are um, some cutouts on this one. So I'm just gonna take my tweezers and pop those out right back onto the sticker sheet. That's a little bit of a help if you need that. Okay. And there we go. So again, just kind of play, playing around to get that so that it looks right so I don't see too many weird colors or textures through the holes there. 
and I'm popping that down. And as I'm doing that, I put the blue flower down very lightly because you saw me point. I still know I need something there <laughs> to, to separate the um, stripe paper and the um, colored paper. And I did forget this until I just saw me do this. I didn't have the mat glued down. So I, that's why I was very lightly putting things down. So this um, washi tape is from Craft and Creativity. I can't even tell you where I got it, but it is a darling um, sort of peachy or pink color. And I was seeing a little bit, sometimes they're a little bit I can still see too much of a pattern, especially because I had two very different patterns through it. So I'm just going to lay another piece right over the top. And trust me, I have enough washi tape that I can afford to do that. I, can, I have enough in, in just about any color that I can afford to do that. And now you see the wide stripes in the back of that cloud paper and where that gets its name from. Okay, so now... I can put my mat down. I did put a little, it was put pointing up at the top left there because there's a lot going on now and it's very bright in that, um, uh, on the map, but I need something on the top left because it's looking a little bare up there. And I found this cloud sticker. I'm like, oh, that's cute. Um, and it works with the whole cloud theme. So use those when you can and then I saw that um green and blue sticker and I thought that did a really nice job of bringing the blue the green from the mat and the blue from the background paper on the right side so that worked really well. and what I'm going to do is put it on there and then I'll cut it so that um, it's actually going off the page I like to do that sometimes when I have stickers that don't have a flat edge and they're on either one side or the top or bottom. So now getting that back into the perfect spot. And I really like how that, um, that works. I toyed with adding these um, kind of photo corners here but I decided it was just a little bit too much. You can see my kryptonite on the page there. I've used like none of that banner. <laughs> All right, and then I did see um, these little butterflies and the bees and decided just to add them into the bottom cluster. You know, like I said, I'm trying to use up stickers and do it where it makes sense. I did add that title that is um, the um, bumblebee alphabet soup collection. There's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you guys are well and I'll be back with another layout soon. Bye everybody.